So the first and main reason is that I think I almost overdosed twice recently and it was frightening. Like I was going to use the word scary, but it was fr like I was actually frightened. Uh, let me get there anyway. Let me, let me set the scene. So ever since I started drinking coffee, probably maybe six, seven years ago, my consumption has just gradually crept up. My caffeine consumption over overall has just gradually crept up. I wouldn't say I have a, an addictive personality, but I certainly have a personality that causes me to go to extremes in certain aspects. Quite a lot of aspects, really. It manifests in many different ways. It's probably one of the reasons why I got in decent shape to begin with. Um, anyway, I think despite the fact that your tolerance increases, you certainly get to a point where your body just says fucking no, like stop it now, that's enough, like don't fuck with me no more. And I think I got to that point. So there was two main occasions. Um, I'll just go through them quickly. So the first one, I'd had a coffee in here, as I do every morning, as I did every morning. And then I went out into town, in, into Manchester. I was with my girlfriend. It was a sunny day and she was like, oh, I'm gonna get a nice coffee. And I was like, fuck it, I'll get one as well. I didn't really even think about it. I thought I can handle two coffees, do you know what I mean? We got iced, grande iced Americanos. And when it's iced, I drink shit too fast. I just nail it, like whether, whatever it is. And so I'd finished mine and she'd only got maybe like a third of the way through hers. I was like near the bottom. And she was like, you know what? I actually don't want this. Do you want it? And I was like, uh, yeah, fuck it. So I just poured it into mine. And then I nailed that as well. Like, you know, in a matter of like a couple of minutes, probably. It was probably 15 minutes later when I was just walking down the street and all of a sudden I just felt fucking spacey and like so weird. It's really hard to describe because it's not a natural, it's not a normal human experience. So it's hard to actually put words on it, but I just felt like there was something wrong with like what I was seeing. Even though there was nothing wrong, it just felt weird to look at stuff and stuff like that. And my heart started like pounding and I felt like kind of short of breath. Like, you know, like sometimes when you're in, a steam room and you feel like your breath isn't a proper breath even though you know you're breathing you feel like you're not getting it because it's like the, the, the air's warm or something like that and I was like shit I was like I was trying not to alarm my girlfriend and I was like I need to I need to sit down for a minute I sat and I just found like a wall literally just found any wall because I felt like super dizzy as well and I sat there and I was like and I was like, it's, it's such a horrific experience not being able to control your heart rate. Like, I imagine it's what it feels like to, you know, OD on any other stimulant based substance or anything else that has those kinds of effects. And um, just not being in control of like, just it just pounding and then you get fucking, you think shit, what's, am I, am I gonna fucking faint? I'm gonna have a heart attack. Is my head gonna fucking explode? What's going on, man? And it, and it passed, like it did pass, it was probably just lasted like a minute or so. Uh, and, but then I felt pretty weird all day. So then after that, I took my caffeine intake down a little bit. I didn't even think about quitting. And then one morning I was in here and I was just drinking my normal cafetiere of coffee. I didn't even have more than usual. And I got to, and I, I was on like my second mug, which is, it's a big fucking mug like, and um I just started going fucking weird again, man. And I started like, and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know whether, I, I immediately ate a banana and drank some water. Cause I was like, trying like, if this is caffeine, trying like soak up some coffee so it doesn't get worse or something. And I felt like I needed to like, just lean over and like rest on something, but then I couldn't stay still. And I was like, shit, do I go to bed? But if I go to bed, what if I fucking have some kind of like weird shit and pass out and then never fucking wake up, man. And it was pretty early in the morning and I was on the, verge of like knocking on Mike's door and being like call help man because I am fucking weird uh, and so I think you know logically I, I would think that they are both related to the intense fucking amount of caffeine now obviously that second one I didn't I had a lot of caffeine compared to what no, people normally drink but pretty normal by my standards but I think maybe it just built up because I had so much like over the course of those few days and so I realise this video is going to go on forever, but it's just going to be a long one. We're just going to do it, man. We're in for the fucking haul, so sorry about that. But I just want to say everything I want to say. So um, that's the main reason, like for my, because I, I was, I was like literally in fear, mate. And it's not that sound, man. It's not a great feeling. 
I don't know, man. Like, I'm not trying to be melodramatic or hyperbolic, man. I'm not trying to exaggerate anything. I was just like, because I fucking love coffee, man. I love, I do not want to quit caffeine. I don't want to, mate. Because I love coffee. Not just the caffeine, like, I love coffee. Anyway, I guess this is reason number two is, um, I just don't like something feeling like it's such such a staple of a routine. I don't like feeling like something is, it's, it's almost like being dependent on something and I feel like that's just not something I wanna be. I feel like as soon as I get up in the morning, typically I'm like, the first thing on my mind is coffee. Even before I go to bed, I'm like, can't wait to get up tomorrow so I can have my coffee. And I just don't like that feeling. Of, I feel like something's got a grip on me, man. And I don't like that feeling because I just, it's, it's not freedom, man, you know what I mean? So there's there's that as well. I just didn't like the idea of something being being so important to me. You know what I mean? I felt stupid. The final one is just, I uh, my concentration is like a fucking roller coaster, mate. Concentration's a bit, brrr. it's not really, you know what I mean? I want to be honest, I want to be steady, man. And I feel like caffeine certainly disrupts that because I, I feel like I, I notice I get my, I blast my workout in the morning and I notice when I've like, I'm like, shit, you've had too much coffee now. You need to like wait before you can do any, any work again. So they're the main three reasons. So that's it. Um, first of all, let's, let's find out how much caffeine I was actually drinking. I think the best way to do this is by weighing the actual grammage on the ground coffee that I use, because if you measure in cups, like a cup's not really a I mean, Americans do actually have cups because they can't fathom grams and shit. No offense, everyone. But, you know, a cup, like, I drink out of that monstrosity, mate. You know what I mean? You drown in it. So, we're going to do this anyway. I think what I'm going to do is weigh the cafetiere first and then take it off the scales, put the coffee in and weigh it again and do the subtraction because I don't want the bias of seeing the scale go up to affect how much I would normally put, it, put in. I want it to be as fair as possible. So typically one of these bags of coffee would last me like five or six days. So, All right, we'll see. So I'm going to weigh this first. So cafetiere on its own, 326 grams right then off scale. Coffee going in, boom, boom, boom. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Eesh. Give it a shake it out, check the depth. Depth check needs a bit more to be honest. I'd probably be happy with about that amount. Now I'm going to weigh it again. Okay, yeah. What's that, 43? 326. Yeah, it's 43. Shit, okay, 43 grams of coffee. I read, in, I read on the internet that the average ground coffee is 13.5 milligrams per gram of ground coffee. And so I'm going to do that calculation right now, but just in my head, I feel like it's going to be a scary fucking number. 43 times 13.5, Jesus Christ. That's over half a gram of caffeine. That's 580 milligrams of caffeine. So that's a fucking horrendous amount of caffeine. Obviously then I would add a kind of monster or a kind of rain, which is 150 to 200 milligrams. So my total for the day would be like pushing 700, man. Oh, maybe over 700, which is crazy. I'm lucky to be alive, man. Caffeine is the world's most popular psychoactive drug. It's estimated that globally we consume 2.2 billion cups of coffee per day, with Finland consuming the most per capita. Caffeine has a half-life of around 5 hours, so if you ingest 200 milligrams at 9am, there'll be around 100 milligrams still in your system at 2pm. This is why people advise against having caffeine too late in the day. It usually takes between 15 and 45 minutes for levels to peak. If you've dosed it right, you'll feel alert, energetic and able to focus. If you went too far, you can experience anxiety, irritability, rapid heart rate and palpitation, even nausea and diarrhea. Some studies have indicated a possible preventative effect that caffeine could have on the development of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. It's thought that continuous, excessive caffeine consumption can increase anxiety, particularly in people sensitive to it. So much so that caffeine-induced anxiety disorder is an official term in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. Caffeine has been shown to improve the performance of endurance athletes, whilst there is still mixed evidence about its effects on strength training. 
the advised upper limit of caffeine is 400 milligrams per day. Whilst the lethal dose will vary depending on weight and seems to be around 150 milligrams per kilogram of body weight, people do have different sensitivities and have died from much less. A 16 year old otherwise healthy American boy consumed a latte, Mountain Dew and an energy drink in a short space of time and suffered a fatal caffeine induced cardiac event. In 2014, a Nigerian man bet his friend that he could drink 8 cans of bullet energy drink and later died as a result. Earlier this year in 2019, a 21-year-old Australian died after accidentally putting a teaspoon of pure caffeine in a homemade protein shake. Okay, it is the end of day one with absolutely no caffeine, not a fucking milligram. And I'm alive, which is obviously pretty evident, unless it's actually being posted posthumously, in which case that's not ideal. So I got up in the morning, usually I would make my coffee and then sit through like quite a horrendous amount of it whilst blasting through my emails and any like coaching or any actual laptop work that I've got to do for the day. Doing that without coffee wasn't actually as bad as I thought it would be. It was fine. You don't get the same like instant fucking kick in the dick, like you know what I mean? It's not like the you don't get the same wake up trajectory that's like usually I'm like into the kitchen and, I just, uh, and then I have a few sips and I'm like and then I'm like Whoosh. It wasn't like that. It was, a, it was a gradual wake up but it was fine. Got all my work done, no probs, I felt perfectly fine. Decided I would train early because I figured if I was gonna get any like negative effects of like going cold turkey on caffeine, then they'd probably happen later on in the day. And so if I get my training session out of the way in the morning, that was probably the best chance I had of having a good session. So when trained, felt fine. Not like a great workout, but not bad by any means. Definitely good enough. Maybe about through no, half two or three p.m. started developing like a dull. Just a dull headache that got progressively worse until it was like a full blown, just decent, just decent headache. Not nothing crazy, like not crazy migraines or anything weird. Decent headache until about seven, half seven. And then I went and did some cardio just because, I don't know, I just, I just. I feel like it was the only productive thing I was basically capable of, to be honest, because I was just like. I just felt a bit grim, just a bit grim, like, I was kind of eating more because I was thinking maybe this will, you know, why do I feel like lethargic and shit, just made me feel more lethargic. Anyway, went and did some cardio, that wasn't particularly easy, um, just did some, some sprints on the treadmill. Actually when I was doing it, once I got into it, it was fine, but then as soon as I, I didn't really think about the headache then, and then as soon as I stopped, headache came back. Um, and now it's just, it's not too bad, it's manageable like, but just a bit of a headache, nothing major. I do feel tired, I feel like I'll definitely get to bed earlier tonight, but what I'll do is I'll report back on my, how I slept tomorrow. Uh, I don't know how often I'm going to check in on these check-ins. <laughs> just probably whenever there's something relevant, because um, I don't know how long I'm going to do this for really. So, that's it, I'll report back on how I sleep. Tomorrow. What's up people, we're doing check-in number two, so I was going to try and be brief but this video is just going to be long so I'm just going to accept that because if shit's worth saying, it's worth saying man. So anyway, let me roll back a bit. So on day, let's call it day zero, when I decided to quit caffeine, I had like a cup and a half in the morning, a mug and a half, a big fucking mug and a half. And then none for the rest of the day. Now I'm not saying this is related to the whole caffeine, non-caffeine thing. It's just an observation. It's correlation, not necessarily causation, but let's let's get to it anyway. That night, after only like less caffeine than usual, not none, I had the str some strange dreams on. Um, not, that, not that strange actually, what it was, I woke up in the night and then when I was trying to get back to sleep I was like I had that kind of like getting back to sleep anxiety you know when you're like worried that you're not going to be able to get back to sleep right 
But then I got back to sleep and dreamt that I couldn't get to sleep. And then I woke up again, right? And then again, when I fell asleep again, got back into the same dream or the same situation. I was dreaming that I couldn't get back to sleep. And I'm sure this happened like maybe three times. And I, never before have I ended up back in the same dream after waking up and going back to sleep. So then yesterday, so yesterday was the first full day with no caffeine. This was today is the second full day. So yesterday evening, shortly after last check-in, I went to sleep, had a slightly harrowing dream. Um, it was about basically I murdered someone by throwing a big rock on the head. I, I was in another country and then I had to like figure out a way to get back home from this other country without getting caught by the police and I had all this fear about going to jail in another country. Mad shit, right? Woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, fuck, phew. Sweet, I'm not, I'm not a murderer, not a fucking criminal, not going to jail, it's all good, mate. I, I was relieved, you know when you wake up from a, a bad dream and you're actually relieved? I felt that relief, right? Fell back asleep, back in the fucking dream, back into it. And again, it was the same situation. I, I was like back in that country and I had to like, I was wanted for murder. So I was trying to avoid, and it was this, this fucking overhanging sense of doom. The thing about like nightmarish and scary dreams isn't that like it's necessarily scary events, it's like an overhanging sense of doom. Anyway, woke up again, fell asleep again, back into it. I was on a fucking emotional roller coaster last night because I was waking up out of this dream, experiencing all this relief, and then going and then falling asleep again. I'm back into the dream and I'm back in fucking nightmare world, man. It was stressful times, mate. When I first, when I eventually, like when I finally woke up at like my get up time was about half seven. I was like, I am. I feel like a weight has lifted off my shoulders. Man. Anyway, that's a dream thing. I don't know if it's related to the caffeine or not. It's just that's never happened to me before and it's it's happening now, so fuck knows. We'll see how tonight goes. Uh, today, oh, it was a fucking weird. It was a very weird day, man. I feel very... Headache-wise, I got a bit of a headache coming on a bit earlier today. It was like 10.30, something like that, a.m., obviously. Dull headache, nothing too bad. Bit of lethargy, didn't feel great. N nothing crazy, like bit of a bit of a haze. Feel like I can't really concentrate that that well on work, but nothing too bad. Like, but what was weird, which seems to have subsided now, is like my vision. Is so it seems like very like focal. Like what I focus on it seems like like my eyes are focusing on that too much, and then around it. It's not that I don't have the same peripheral vision as usual, it's that it's like, it's it's like I'm focusing on something too much. Do you, you ever try and like read, you try and, like this small text and you try, and you try too hard to put, and then you feel weird because you're focusing too hard. That's what I feel like when I just like look at something for like a little bit too long. I don't know, it's just weird, but like I feel very like, almost like dizzy in a way, like dizzy, like, you know how your equilibrium and your vision and everything, it's all kind of interlinked, isn't it? Yeah, something's, something crazy's going on in my head, and uh, funnily enough, I went to the gym, and it kind of seemed to subside, as well as my headache, like, after I just lifted, like, as normal, everything kind of went, and now I just feel normal again, feel fine again, like, not as if I haven't quit caffeine, so... They were just the observations of the day. It was, it was quite. It was weird because I just didn't feel like in a normal state. Like, do you know what I mean? It's a very weird one. It was almost like how I would feel if I had way too much caffeine. Yet there's zero in me. Anyway, that's it for the day. I'll see how tonight goes. Hopefully, I'm not fucking lost in a world of harrowing adventures. Um, yeah. Okay. The headaches continued on days three and four, but those days were otherwise quite uneventful. On day 5 I had to get up about 4am to catch an early flight for a family holiday and airport coffee is almost a tradition for me so in terms of actually resisting this was by far the most difficult test. When I was away I would make my girlfriend coffee every morning and 
that wasn't actually as torturous as it seems. I think I was starting to take pride in the abstinence a bit by this point. Don't get me wrong, there were times when I really wanted a coffee or a Coke Zero or something like that after a long day in the sun, but I knew that by this point I was pretty much over the hardest part. On day seven, I took a little bit of a funny turn and experienced some of that weird vision dizziness that I described on day two, as well as another dull headache. I kept notes this whole time, and my notes for day eight reported a slight headache, which is actually the last recorded mention of anything negative. That was over two weeks ago now. For day nine, I wrote the following. Trained and felt quite good, definitely feeling more steady energy levels throughout the day rather than peaks and troughs. Had a dream that I drank a monster without thinking about it and started going weird off the caffeine. Think I'm a bit scared of caffeine now, feel cautious about restarting. And for day 10, didn't think I'd get this far, only managed it because I was scared. It's day. 20 something I feel fucking great I'm gonna tell you about it there's a lot for me to go through here I want to try and keep things as concise and clear as possible so I'm gonna time stamp everything put that in the description so that you can skip around to wh whichever part you are most interested in if you don't want to watch it all so let me just say between day I think day 10 was the most recent entry and now all of the negative side effects of quitting caffeine subsided became nil and the positive effects became much more pronounced and I was much more able to feel and appreciate them. So I'm going to go section by section. Okay, sleep, let's start with that. So first thing to note is that I never slept terribly. I would always get not a lot of sleep, but not a terrible amount. I would get six, maybe six and a half, occasionally seven hours. And that would be okay for me. I could definitely get through life on that. However, I would often wake up and feel like I'm awake before I'm ready to be awake. You know what I mean? Like I would feel like my brain has woken up, but my body isn't ready for it. Like particularly just with heavy eyes and I'd feel like, I should have slept for another hour or two but was obviously unable to get back to sleep when I tried so it was like I was waking up early or just just not ready to wake up when I actually did now the first maybe five days maybe a little bit longer without caffeine I slept for longer I would wasn't uncommon for me to get eight plus hours which is obviously fucking crazy nobody in this day and age actually gets eight hours of sleep a night so i was like shit this is sick man now after about the first week i kind of went back to my normal sleeping duration now it, by some measure I don't, I don't know why but it, it has shifted earlier a little bit but it's still like i maybe get a, a little bit longer now maybe six and a half to seven hours on average but when I wake up I definitely feel a lot more ready to get up like I wake up and often one of my first thoughts is like oh that was a nice sleep you know when you've had a sick sleep and you just wake up and you feel like Ugh, just like fucking just your heart feels cozy that's how it feels man and uh so I definitely feel like, although I'm only getting the same amount of sleep, which is kind of weird, not what I would would have expected, I definitely feel more rested from that same sleep. So, fuck knows, but it's great. Okay, dreams. So, I could have obviously tied this in with sleep, but I think it deserves a segment on its own. So, I described earlier in the video how I had those couple of dreams around about the time I actually stopped, stopped drinking caffeine, where I would wake up and... When I went back to sleep, I would get back into the same dream. Now, obviously, I thought that was interesting as fuck. Now, it hasn't actually happened to me since then. But what has happened? Let me give you a bit of context. So, previously, throughout the last, you know, however many years I can remember, 
I would probably actually remember a very few dreams. I don't know that much about sleep, but I think I'm right in saying that you actually dream every night, pretty much, and it's just that you actually don't remember your dream most nights. Now, I used to remember a dream maybe once a month, if that, even so much so that when I actually had a dream, I would I would mention it to someone, I'd be like, oh, I had this weird dream last night, you know, whatever happened. Now, I dream every night, twice a night, no shit, and I've, like, I, what I mean is, I remember it. So, I usually wake up early hours of the morning, about maybe half three, four a.m. to go to the toilet, and I'm back to sleep like that. But upon waking, I remember the dream that I've just had, and then I go back to sleep, and then I wake up at my normal time, like six, half six, whatever, and I wake and I wake up and remember immediately that dream as well. And it's so weird for me, like now, to be dreaming every single night and remembering it. It's just I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that is related at all. It, it seems a strange thing. I don't really know what possible mechanism could bring that about. It could be completely coincidental, but I would just say that the, the timing, that, that would be quite, you know, well, quite a coincidence. So maybe if someone knows about sleep or dreams or whatever, then maybe someone can, can shed some light on that for me. So I just thought that was an interesting kind of weird thing. Okay, energy levels. So I've definitely seen a marked improvement. Actually, maybe that's unfair to say. It's hard for me to say that I have more energy than I did when I was drinking caffeine. It's definitely more steady. I definitely now, whereas I used to be like just up and down, peaks and troughs. Now I'm just steady. Like it takes me a little bit longer to wake up and I get tired a little bit earlier. But any time between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., it's pretty much the same, man. I'm pretty much like, I can train any time of the day I want and I feel fine. It's not like I've got to, I've got to kind of accommodate for what my energy is gonna be like. And actually, I don't even think about my energy levels anymore. Whereas I used to be quite, you know, up and down. And for me to say that I have more energy would be, I don't, it's, it's, I don't think that's fair to say because I would have to somehow average out all the peaks and troughs that I went through when I was drinking caffeine. But now I certainly feel like it's more sustained level even and I, enjoy, I definitely enjoy it. I definitely prefer it this way much more than previously. I also think that my workouts, I seem to sustain energy throughout my workouts a little more. Um, whereas I used to kind of do exercise one, sick, exercise two, sick, exercise three, start dropping off a fucking cliff. Now I feel like, maybe it's all in my head, but you know, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I sustain my energy throughout the workout a lot better. And so I feel like the latter part of my workout, I just get more out of that. Okay, ability to focus, so. Uh, I don't want this to sound like an advert for quitting caffeine because I don't give a fuck if you quit caffeine. I'm not really asked. I just want to give you my my honest kind of accurate um, experience and and yeah, I'm trying not to be. I haven't got an axe to grind, do you know what I mean, or a dog in the fight, or whatever the fuck that the the phrase is that applies here. So. That being said, I feel like my focus, my ability to concentrate on one task is far better than it was previously. So I would typically be doing something on my laptop, some kind, some kind of work on my laptop and after maybe an hour and a half or two hours, sometimes I just like randomly just stand up out of my seat and walk over to the kitchen and start looking around and I'd be in the kitchen before I realize what I'm doing. And it's literally, I've just encountered a little bit of like difficulty in something that I'm doing. I'm like, get away. And I just can't hack the concentration of it. And so I would split my day up into like smaller chunks of like, do this for two hours, do that for two hours, go to the gym, do this, whatever. And now I feel like I can definitely see things through a lot better and I, I'm, I have less of a tendency to just veer away from the actual task in hand. Now, I'm not saying that I can sit there and just do eight hours at my desk. I cannot fucking do that. I just don't think humans are supposed to do that and it very well evolved or adapted or created, whatever you believe, to do that. Um, but I can, 
hundred percent see improvements and it's it's definitely one of the best kind of effects of this whole non caffeine thing for me because in the back of my mind I always had this kind of suspicion a bit of a feeling that I didn't really want to I didn't really want to acknowledge it because I was that then it wouldn't make me have to quit caffeine but I always had this feeling that maybe caffeine is fucking my focus up a bit and your ability to focus surely that is one of the main factors in your ability to just do shit in life generally and I honestly had this kind of creeping sense that maybe my lack of ability to focus was somewhat holding me back um in life in general and that's a bit dramatic maybe but I still I think it's I think it's fair um so yeah that's the that's fucking great I'm happy about it I feel way more productive I, I generally feel like I'm just a higher functioning person now than I than I was previously just generally feel all right there's anything left okay appetite this is probably the only downside of the whole thing is like my appetite is definitely using words like definitely and certainly 100 percent. it's not really fair because this isn't a scientific investigation it's just one person's anecdotal um experience but i feel like my appetite has increased now i think initially that was because i was just after some kind of stimulation i just wanted something in my hand instead of a coffee or something to something to taste something to feel something we have a real addiction to having something in our fucking hands and that, that's a whole other video like but you know, I think at first I was trying to replace coffee or the carbonated drinks or, or energy drinks or whatever with, with food. But even later when I got some teas in, I got some fucking ginger tea, mate, and like, you know, whatever, I, I still feel like they, they went some way towards replacing the coffee. But as an appetite suppressant, I think things that contain caffeine or carbonated drinks, ideally carbonated drinks that contain caffeine are king and I just don't think you can really replace them with like caffeine free teas and stuff so I probably have been eating a little bit more um, so so that's that. Okay so my conclusions, well what to say, um, you know when I started this I, I didn't really Although I didn't put a time frame on it, I didn't do it because I was like, I want to do a seven day challenge or a 10 day challenge or a 30 day challenge. I didn't really view it like that. I obviously went through my motives earlier in the video, but I did think that I would spend the majority of the time in a state of temptation and a state of trying to resist. Uh, and I thought that once I'd done enough, you know, gone long enough to, I don't know, prove it to you or prove it to myself or prove it to somebody or, or, or make a fucking YouTube video out of it. I don't know how long I intended to. I thought that once that was over and I was like, okay, that's enough, that I would just go back to drinking coffee or caffeine, but just at a much more responsible level. Now, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Like I could have a coffee now, right, uh, you know, this, this video is done, right? You know what I mean? And my ex personal experiment is pretty much done. Like, I'm not going to get... I could have a coffee now and nothing would, you know. But I, I haven't, like, you know what I mean? I just don't. I can't see myself ever going back to coffee or caffeinated drinks being a regular part of my routine. Like, I don't think I'll be drinking caffeine on a daily basis. I'll definitely not be staying completely caffeine-free because... I fucking love coffee and if I'm in Italy, I'm going to be drinking espresso and maybe not even in Italy, you know. I'm going to be drinking Monsters, I'm going to be drinking everything that contains caffeine but definitely much more infrequently and honestly not every day at all. So there's that, I don't really know. Obviously I'll keep people updated in future videos what my, what my intake is like. Hopefully it doesn't just gradually creep back up to <laughs> excessive levels but... Yeah, I don't know. It, it, one thing struck me. I I realized that you know everyone has coffee in the morning, right? It's, it's, that's the that's the the peak time when people drink caffeine. So it's like wake up in the morning, get your coffee to help you wake up. And I'm thinking, you've just had a sleep, right? Sleep is like the ultimate recuperation, you know, recovery, and. Surely, right after a sleep, 
should be when you have most energy, you, you feel most well rested, you feel the most ready to take on your fucking day. So if caffeine is intended to wake you up, surely that's not when you should be having it, really. And I think what it is, is people would wake up anyway. From my experience, you wake up anyway and you get to the same point, but you just have to be a bit more patient about it. You can't expect to fucking backflip out of bed and straight into the office, fucking finding out dynamic solutions to a multiple fucking, you know, whatever, or straight into training or, or whatever it is. You have to have the patience to wake up like a human and, and not just fist yourself into the day. And I think that that is just a much, for me, it's just what I enjoy. I, I just find that that is much more, it's just much better for me. And, and, I, and one thing that I wanna get, I wanna make clear here, is I am not in any way saying that no caffeine is better than caffeine. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is no caffeine is better than abusing caffeine, which is what I was doing personally. So if you have a normal relationship with coffee, you have your coffee here and there, whatever, you don't get any bad effects, you sleep fine, whatever. Crack on, man. I don't give a f like, you know, it's cool. Um, if you drink a lot of caffeine, I would say you may even be experiencing some of the negative effects without immediately linking it to your caffeine consumption. And as an experiment, I would say try a few weeks without it, just just none. Now, don't do what I did and go cold turkey because that's like headaches. Everyone can deal with headaches, man. It's fine. That second day was weird, mate, and I would not wish it on people. It was just, it was just, I felt like my head was broken, man. I felt my, like my brain was just not functioning correctly. And it's, you still probably don't understand what I'm trying to say because I've just not explained it very well because it's just hard, very hard to explain. But just don't do that. Don't go cold turkey. What I would suggest is maybe cut your intake down by like half for a week and then half it again the week later and then maybe come off or, or almost off and eventually go caffeine free just for a few weeks, just try it out. If you think it's shit, you can always get back and, and drink caffeine again. But I think that's all I've got to say. I, I know this video was like super long, but I just wanted to, to, some things take longer than 11 minutes, man. You know what I mean? You've just got to do it, haven't you? And so I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Cheers for, uh, you know, subscribe to my channel, like my shit, all that kind of, all that YouTuber catchphrase stuff. See you later.